Welcome to the final module of the four major fundamental concepts of programming. In this final module, what, what, what we're going to be talking about is the concept of syntax. So what is syntax? Syntax is known as the programming rules of a, of a, of a programming language. It's something that you must follow in order for your code to compile. Otherwise, what will happen is, if you don't follow the syntax rules of, any pro of the programming language that you were using, your program's not going to run at all. It's going to keep forcing you to fix those, fix those syntax errors until you fix each and every single one of them. Syntax is kind of similar to the rules in, in, in the English language. Maybe back in high school when you were learning English, when you were writing essays and all that, you had to follow grammatical rules that your English teacher set out, like full stops, commas, quotation marks and all that. It's very similar to, to programming with syntax. The syntax is, is the rules that you must follow in a programming language. So, for example, in C++, at almost at the end of each line, the rules are that, is that you need a semicolon at the end of each line. That, that is an example of a syntax rule in C++. Whereas in the English language, at the end of a sentence, what you need is a full stop. To see how the two, how the two are very similar, they're both rules that we are required to follow in the English language and in this example, the C++ programming language. So let's take an example here of declaring a string that I've got here on, in this example. So let's run through the syntax of what's going on here. So in this very basic definition of declaring a, a, a string variable here, I'm following, I'm, I'm following the syntax rules of the C++ programming language. So what have I got here? I've got string. So I'm, say, I'm saying what, what the variable type is. So that's the first part of, of it. And then we've got the second part. And then the second part is we're giving it, we're giving it the variable name. So we're calling it uh, name one. So we're giving it a variable name. And then what I've got is I've got an equal sign. So now we're setting what the string variable is. So after this equal sign, what we've got here is that we've got quotation marks setting what the, what, the, what the variable, what the string variable is going to store. So I've got, a bunch of, I've got a bunch of letters in there which are now storing that string variable. So with the quotation marks, I followed the rules of all the letters that I want to be stored in that variable. And then at the end of, de of declaring that variable, what I've got is a semicolon. So that semicolon means is that I finish with that line of code. So when I so when I put that line of code into my C++ program, it should have no problems compiling. Because as because that what I've got here is that I'm following the rules of the C++ programming language syntax, and that's what syntax is in programming. It's a set of grammatical. It's a set of programming rules that you must follow in order order for your program to compile. I really hope you guys enjoyed my series of the four major fundamental concepts of programming. If you, really, if you really like what you saw, what I'd like for you to do is that I would like you to opt in for my free report on the five major tips to shorten, to shorten and accelerate your learning curve in a matter of months. It's a free report for complete beginners who are interested and in delving deep into, into learning how to master programming. And it's all for free. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day.